Greetings and welcome to Dyson Sphere program. I'm D Green, and today we continue our Let's Play, where we last episode got the science up and running, which just resulted in uh, another thing being researched. This is the planetary view. The planetary system. So now we can see things in the whole system. So we press V to go into the planetary system. This is a star map. This is where we're at. It seems we are in... Of course, it's about one year away. Uh, around our neighboring star. This is another planet. Oh, and it shows what's on it. So... Wind 70%. Oh, that's different kind of radiation and stuff. So, less wind, more solar. Ocean t Is that a lava planet? Whoa. Lava oceans. That's gonna be cool. <laughs> a ton of cynical and all. Copper, iron, titanium. Oh, titanium is a massive amount. So, here you can plan out. It seems there's six natural resources. Seven, maybe, if you count uh, oil. If you go back to our current planets that's all we actually just a moon we're not even a planet gas giant so yeah crude oil as well wind is good soul is uh, solar is good did the other one have oil as well no there's no oil on this one orbiting rotation speed and such it's gonna be cool seeing some of these and it's about one u away as well so we'll, we'll check that out in the future so as we're saying in today's episode, I very much want to uh, work towards our, what's it called, red science. I have to do that, as we saw last episode, I accidentally picked it up right now. We do need to grab hydrogen, which is from oil, and this one, which is from coal. So the one we're lacking at the moment is oil. And let's see, do we have oil nearby? We have some oil over here, and we have oil there. So what if we grab that and put it on the main bus? Wouldn't that be a good way to do it? And before we do it, let's just get the motors on the main bus as well. For now, since I think that is oh, two things we're lacking on the main bus. I want to get those two in before we, uh, we continue. So let's see here. Three, oh, you can stay. This one is you, so let's make it one here, we have to go one on top of this one. For the prisms, that I don't know if we need further down, but we have enough belts being made. And I want this one on top of our prisms. That means, to be honest, we actually do need to stop that for a second. It needs to go two up. So we need to do... Oh, we need to craft a lot more as well. Let's go grab some iron. So we'll do one here, and we'll do the top one like that. I think that should give us exactly what we want. There, there. And you over here have to go up to four in height. So, is that correct? One, two, three, four. That'll go straight across and in. Oh, I love when you have a good setup up and running. It's so easy to expand. Yeah. Don't mind me, I'm just uh, pleased with our progress at the moment. This one will go on the bottom over here. Our little motors. I probably just need to go... Oh, we are out of power. Uh, okay, let's charge and let's go grab some coal. Come on. Let's just place it here for a second. I just need to charge. Come on, little robots. Drones, build it please. Maybe that's actually used to take this tree for now. Okay, they completely got stuck in, in midair. That's kind of hilarious. I don't think we have any charge nearby. We have it all the way over there. But uh, let's grab this tree. And again, remember to manage your power. So you don't get into the same kind of issue that I'm in right now. Please build that. Thank you. So that is going, we're just burning off this small amount, and we'll go grab some uh, some coal. We'll need to move this in just a second. Uh, we'll do it when we get back. So let's fly to our coal vein over here. 
One, two, three, four. Land, please. Get in. And let's take one extra first surplus. That should be fine. Let's go back over here, then we should be good again. So there we are. Slowly building. Uh, we can pretty much just place a tower there for now. So now we need this one. It has to go on the bottom, so it just needs to be a two. So please go to two and go across all the way to about here, I think. Then you go down and then you go into the line here. That shouldn't be too bad to get done. Again, we are lacking iron. I need to fly back and get some of that. Oh, do we have any signs? No, no, no. We need to get up to the next tier. That is pretty much our goal right now. Otherwise, our entire production chain is uh, just kind of ground to a halt. Please land there. Let's do that. Let's get ourselves some of you. 60 should be enough <laughs> for now. Oh, let's do 40. I don't know how high this stack. So there we are. And let's just go back to our little area. So here we are. That is going in. That needs to connect up to... Not the prisms are here. So yeah, the next one over. And the easiest way to do it. One of these with exactly one of those. There we are. It has been this line. Uh, in and out this way. So now we know we have everything on the main bus. We know that we can actually put oil on top of this one, or we can do oil on the next line. To be honest, let's get oil on top of this one. I think that'll be the best way to do it. So here we go. It'll be a straight shot back this way. And in, it needs to be on top. So it needs to go up a few, few tiles. So here we are. Crude oil seep. Uh, I'm guessing on the mining somewhere, we'll have water pump oil extractor. Please craft one of you. And get all of this hooked up. Oh. Didn't I fill you with coal just a second ago? Huh. Might be my imagination. Or did I just put it back in to the chest? <laughs> I probably did. Oh well, there we are. And now we have an oil extractor. I'll put this way please, because I want you on the main bus. So let's grab you. Oh, we need some power as well. That makes complete sense. Uh, you can go on there for now. And uh, unlike Victoria, there is no pipes in Dyson Sphere from what I can see. So oil will pretty much just go on the belt. And you can... We need to be 4 high. Should we just go to 4 already? Oh, sorry, 3 high. I think that'll be fine. So if we do that, it'll do exactly what we want. There we are. Hopefully that's the correct one I plug it into. Seems so. And let's get our little robots to fix this. Because then we have our coal. Oh, sorry, coal. We have our oil on the main line. It's built. All of this, please. They're working at a nice speed, our robots now. There we are. And let's see what oil looks like in this game. If it's anything like the other packages, it's just going to be a package with a logo on it. Or maybe a drop or something. Let's see. There we go. That is oil. That is kind of hard to see that's oil, but uh, it is. So let's go over. 
and hook it up. So now to see how do we process the oil. Production, we have some oil refineries, that seems good. We need a few prisons, luckily. Let's give me 50 of you. And if we go by the same premise as always, let's get four. One, two, three, four. That will process our oil. And then we'll figure out what we do with it in a little bit. Uh, oil is in. Science is here. So. Let's look at the oil processing. Well, this is chemical plants. That is for producing things instead. That is not what I want. Oh yeah, old refinery. I thought that was what I made. I might have misclicked. So, same as before. We'll want at least two spots in between. So, one, two. That means we'll have oil going in right here. And let's hook up the oil refinery. Oh, very nice. When that has outputs a different way, uh, both front, back, and the side. But if I want to go with a current setup, we should probably get it just like this. Um, and start it right there. We say one, uh, two, three, four. This Oh, it, of, oh, it produces more than one thing. So let's see. You can do one thing. You can do that. Hydrogen and oil thing? Refined oil. Oh, that might be better. Whoa, that's very, very good in uh, in a mech for power. 8 megajoules and 100% conversion. Pretty darn good. So now to hook up the oil. Let's hook up four of these first. Two, three, four. Um, should we leave a space in between? Oh, I think they'll split fine. Otherwise, we will move it a bit in the future. Oil up top. That means we have to get all the right here. So there we are. We'll just do a normal split. No, we'll have to do one of these to make it go the correct height. There we are. And you can go this way. It should be on four because even it's this way across to about, 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 about right there. And then you'll go down to there. That should be oil hooked in very nicely. Let's go and grab a bit of power. While our robots fill in the things we need. Go, 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 please. And oil is on its way. Perfect. A bit of power. Uh, you can go there. There, and then we need one all the way back here as well somewhere. We'll need some of you to go to here for now. Then we just need a bit of input. Uh, one of one will be enough. Let's start the one and see how it goes. Four. Ooh, that looks pretty darn cool. And now we're producing hydrogen and refined oil at a 2 to 1 ratio. So one oil goes in to produce, or two oil produces 2 and 1. It means we need a double output over here. So it means we'll have two belts running. Let's start all the way from back. 1 and 2. And they did say something about sorting that output. So let's see how this is done. You can go there. Oh, and you look at the right over here, we seem to be, we can tap between what we need. So let's do hydrogen on the inside. Oh, we'll do that. So we need to put a filter in while we do that. There, and tap. On the outside, I'd like to have other one. 
so we can slowly get that removed here and there look at that very nice very organized so that's oil production up and running so next part that is the one part we need the next thing we needed was let's see how's the coal thing so is it in here let's just check i'd like to make yeah this so that's just coal into that and we can make it right here there's also a way to do these two to give hydrogen and coal at the same time but uh, let's just try and go with the coal for now i think the other one looks like a more advanced recipe so one in one two and go let's see i want you to start by doing that one change you to make that also very good for the mech in case we need new power sources or and that will give us a one output so the coal should be oh, it looks good in the in the sun the coal should probably be all the way back here it's one of the tools we haven't used yet on the bus but we should have hooked it up somewhere let's see is that coal this weird looking thing can we use our little map view to figure it out um, that's not coal coal goes in oh it looks like coal right there so it's that one it even looks like coal so that's perfect we'll have to hook it up on this line let's see if we can figure out where that goes so it has to be on it seems to be the third one so right here will be good uh, right there and it is on the top one so that one and that one then if we can grab it down here if that's cold we can pretty much just drag it all the way across perfect here three four over to the little starting area yeah and then down to ground level Oh, wait. Oh, it is right. It's just because of the curvature of the Earth. I was like, why does it look bent? But <laughs> well, that makes complete sense. So, there we are. And what about over here? Let's get the rest of you built. Look at this crisscross of uh, organized mess. That is even a word. There it goes. So that will give us our pellets. That means we're one step closer to having uh, what we need. That just means we need things in one, two, three, four, and then an output. And then we should be able to hook up our science. That's going to be quite exciting. And there, and there. Look at that. Energetic graphite. And let's take you out on the opposite side. Good. So, I think it's about time we set up our labs then. Should probably do six like we did back here. And then we're gonna pretty much take all the resources we have in our base. I have a feeling that's what's gonna happen. So let's grab some of you. Let's see, is that enough to make what I need? Not even close. And some glass. From just over here. There we are. One, two. I like to make oh that's more than enough now green circuits and the iron we have enough of good so 
nothing. Cute. And how many do we have? Now three, four, five, six. So now we can have a massive red line going to the North Pole as well. Hmm, that's gonna be cool. That's gonna be very, very cool. Hopefully the water is not in our way. We do have some landfill to sort it out though. And we do need to have two lines in. So one, two, there. One, two. And let's get the laps down. Is that why we put it as well back here? That seems good. One, two. Oh, we, we need to have three more, don't we? We did nine. Wow, that's a lot. One, two, three. And now we're going to have something that produces a red line going uh, north. Oh, I thought it was north. This is actually the south pole for some reason. When I was in the star map. Um, if you see up here. Blue is south, red is north. Did not notice that. Wait, oh god. I, tips, I turned something I didn't want to turn. <laughs> okay, might be fine, we get back. Okay, good. <laughs> I'll just get this organized if you move things around too much. So, produce red, please. The same over here. And the same there. And now they just need a bit of input. So, one of them is the Genic Graphite. That we can take from right here. We can pretty much do the same way we did before, since we'll just move it up one. So, splits into a double right here. The double will go across, and the bottom one will just kind of go over and in. This one will go all the way across until we hit wherever it needs to be. As for these, they need to go out here first and go to the correct spot. And one has to be at level 2, so maybe going this way and in. And the other one has to be at 4. So um, let's do the, uh, this one first. That will be our number 4, I think. You'll have to line up about here, it seems. So you have to go out to there, and what's that line we needed? Uh, yeah, one line next to it, so that seems fine. You have to be four. There we go. So if we start with you, and take you to that one, it will just figure it out like a good boy. And over here we'll have to fit in, this has to be right here. It has to be at the bottom, so we need one of you to hook that up. And that just means you'll have to be on the middle line right here. So if you go to there, I think it'll be fine. And up. Yeah. So um, now we have one issue that we'll have to sort as soon as we hook this up. And that is that hydrogen will be produced or used in this one. But we have a surplus of refined oil. And I'm not quite sure what to do with it yet. I know we have some storage. We have some storage tanks that can hold 10,000 fluid. Or this one that can hold 30 slots. So depending on how high the stack, we can take one or the other. But uh, we'll look at that as soon as we get things flowing. So from here to there, it's good. And then we need you to go over here. That's pretty much this area. Let's see right here on one of those seats, right? And take you to right. Here seems good, and go down to that one. So that should pretty much be our red energy matrix, or what is it actually called? An energy matrix, science matrix, so that's that's good. Uses at our 2 to 2 ratio, so that is also good. Give 50 more of you. And let's start to take you in. Two. 
one. Two. Two. Um, not sure if this can supply enough. If that's the case, we might upgrade it to the next tier of... Uh, of production or of transferring speeds. I have a feeling it won't supply it. Didn't we use uh, two inputs over here anyway? Or faster ones? No, might be fine. We'll see. For now at least. Uh, let's go help the robots to the last piece. Oh, is that moving? That looks freaky. <laughs> That's a weird animation. Oh, it's because it's inside a canister and then it's just sloshing around. What's that? Or refracting the light or something like that. I'm not quite sure what's going on. But look at that. That is a nice red glow. It means we have a nice big production of this. Now, for the fun part, part even, of dragging it to the North Pole. To get used. Probably just a bit of power back here. Oh, it works. It's fine. And look at that, a nice red glow to go up this way as well. Uh, do we have enough belts? I've got to check how much it takes, but for now at least, uh, let's just start the dragon. And let's see if we run out or not. There's the blue. We could, in theory, take it over next to the blue, but... Uh, yeah, that's the waste of belts. We can do it up here at the top where the, the range between them is a lot less. Unless they actually just get in pretty much next to each other, which is <laughs> pretty much the case because the world is round. Oh, look at that. Oh, I see an issue now. Uh, we can have free inputs because we need to have a place to get the red in, so... What if we just... Oh, we need some power, don't we? So what if we just have one blue and one red? And then on, on the opposite side, when we get more, we can have the other ones going. Not quite sure how that will affect our performance, but uh, that's kind of what we have to do. Oh, that's the wrong one I removed. This one and that one. This one and that one. And... Look you up. Very nice. And we can always upgrade the speed if needed. One. Two. So now we'll have red and blue signs going in. That means we'll unlock an entirely new chain of uh, the research tree. <laughs> wow, look at that. It's kind of fun. You can see it through the ground. So that's how much the Earth curves. Or the planet curves even. Before uh, we're back. Okay, let's go. There we are. And that is looking very good. Let's continue along. I stand here and I'm about to see repair ourselves. So That's not really true. Just fill up on some power while we are going. They move close to the belt to actually help uh, them do their job. It's gonna look cool when we have two lines going up to the south pole, even. And slowly moving like this. It is taking a bit longer to build, but to be honest, it, it fits kind of nice with the theme. Instead of just, it magically appears when you drag. It does take a bit longer, but uh, I do enjoy it very much. So, let's go. We are almost there. Look at the red ominous glow waiting for us. That's gonna be so good. Come on, little drones. Do your job. Thank you. And let's see our base get entirely staffed for resources. Oh, we do need to sort this out though, because he's already backlogged. <laughs> Look at that. Insane red glow. I 
that looks so cool. So if you look at that from map view, it's just kind of moving up this way now, like a red snake towards our science area. So, um, very good pro progress this episode. We need to sort out this light oil situation. Uh, we could probably store it somewhere. I'm not quite sure where to store it yet. Uh, we could take it over here for now just to uh, make sure it runs and then we can pump it back when needed. I want to figure out what to do with it, that is. Because the most important thing right now is getting all science to run. Is there anything if we quickly check our products here we can do with it? Uh, oh, it's used for plastic. So um, maybe we should just hook this up next episode at uh, the plastic recipe to get this going. I don't think that would be a bad idea. Then we can store some plastic and get things going. So uh, yeah, I think we'll, we'll look at plastic next episode and see if, uh, if that's a good way to do it. So um, before we leave, let's just look a bit at the, the research we can do now. We have so much unlocked, we even have better belts and such. Photon frequencies. Ah, that's a good way we have things on the belt, because uh, we actually need the prism for something. Oh, solar sails. Oh, and the EM ray ejector. That's what shoots them into space, I think. Very cool. Uh, let's activate this one. We'll, we'll, we'll look at it later. It's not that important, but yeah, a ton of things we have to make. We'll look at that next episode. So, um, thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying my science build that I have at the South Pole right now. All of the organized uh, base building. It's it's what I like to do. It makes it so much more enjoyable for me to do these kind of things. So, um, yeah, with that, I will leave you guys be. So, uh, please remember to like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot and come join all the nice people on Discord. We are having a blast there. So um, with that, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye guys.